Hello, everybody. Welcome to Key Comments Speak Wrestling, episode 27. My name is Ishmael Carmichael, and today I'll be showing you a game of WWE 2K18. Where I'll show you the map between one more NBC is Okada. Now, before I talk about this topic, I'll discuss about the difference between one more wings, main event with a mayor to Okada main event with your kingdom. Now, in case somebody may not know who one more wings is or Okada is, I'm gonna talk about one more wing first. Then I'm gonna talk about Okada next. Then I'm gonna talk about this, the, the difference between one more wings and Okada main event, both big pay views events. First, Woman Wings. Woman Wings is a Wall Street star who is a former SEAL member. We team up with D. Ambrose and Seth Rollins. Woman Wings is a former WWE Tag Team Champion, a three time World Heavy Champion, a former US Champion, NCAL Champion, Warrior Woman Winner, and he's the Triple Count Champion and the Grand Slam Champion from the WWE. As you know, one way is known as the big dog in the guy. In case you might not know, I'm, I'm going to talk about why one way is the guy and why he's the big dog. And at Westman, day for one way was set to challenge Bob Lesnar for the Universal Championship. And which will be close after soap. And which I will get to that. All the main event for Woman Wayne. Now, everybody been complaining about why Woman Wayne had main event four straight with some main years. But nobody ever complained about Carter main event with some main year. Like, every time when Dirty did something bad, they all like to put bad on Dirty, but when New Japan did something good, they don't complain about it. Like, a car made it four straight with some kingdoms now I started watching my first Wizard Kingdom back in I think it was trust and we no it was trust um 13 but I think it, it was trust 13 or 14 I don't remember I, st I stopped watching my first Wizard Kingdom and the maybe was Okada but it's a Takahashi and it was a good match it, it told a good story about them bound for the aces of New Japan. Oh, being that I got to talk about Okada story. Okada is from New Japan Pro Wrestling, and he's a full-time IWGP Heavyweight Champion. He been there for six hundred twenty-eight days, the cheering, and he's been the longest winning IWGP World Champion of all time. And not only that, he's the longest combined days as champion and about to have the most success most overall title defenses currently held by I think Takahashi with number 12 uh, let me take I think that's how I remember I think he so cuz is number 10 for successful title defenses Yeah, Takahashi had 11 more successful tag fans, so it's Okada does defend the uh, IWGP World Heavyweight Championship, but we think he would tie with Takahashi with number 11. Then soon after that, he will break Tanahashi Wicker. In my opinion, Okada has been tempted for way, way too long. Because I guess I'll talk about Okada Manvin was a king of first. Like, like he may have been four straight with the kingdom. And as I mentioned before, Okada, my, I thought it was my first with the kingdom. It was Okada versus Takahashi to prove, right, to prove that he was the ace of Japan. Oh, that's the time when Okada was holding the uh, 
um the climax three case where he get turns for the world title. Then I guess we'll reverse in the next year. Otaku has won the briefcase to jump for the world title while Okada was still the champion. Like I said, same thing to, to prove who the ace of Japan. Then the following year, he faced Omega. Same story, the ace of Japan. Then Nato. Where Nato had went to main event with Akimba, he was snubbed when the main was Takashi Business Sisuke Nakamo for the and I do GP Intercontinental Championship. And with from this year, in my opinion, Omega Business Jago should have made a event with the Kingdom because it was so much hype based on Twitter. It was so much heat between Omega and Jericho. It was insane how we turned we turned from Omega Business Jericho being a dream match into a dream fight. It wasn't even a match. It was like a fight. If you won't believe me, watch Wizard Kingdom did from 2018 because that was insane. And that just said we are faced with this disappointment. And with how no one complain about the Okada Bizonato main event, but Omega just had the most build up, but then main event. Well, woman, we, he may force it with some men, but each time when woman man vets with some men, it tells us different story. At which my third first, he faced Bart Lesnar. For one way, it was to see which seal member will win the World Tower first. There was when Bart Lesnar first introduced to Plex City. There was a good match where it, it has its moments. When we see Seth Rollins casting his money bank briefcase in the world's history, then I was there too. He faced Triple H. He was fighting against the Authority. It was for the world title where Wayne King have a rest man moment by getting revenge for Triple H, causing him the title at the World One Mode, so he can establish his dominance. At was there for he faced. The Undertaker. It was the Battle of the Yard. Also, it was rumored to be the Undertaker's last match. He defeated the Undertaker, proving he's the big dog, and thus this is his yard. Now, like I said, this year I was mayor, and was it will be close out the show. I was I wait with Ruben and Stella, but the second like my main event, I was a main year. If you haven't seen my, my point, me saying that oh, Omega vs. Jago will have made an event with some uh, with some kingdom, but nobody complains. But on the other hand, it's that but it's not much so across itself, but they're gonna complain because one way, maybe four straight with some mania's. He faced the lesser again, but this is for the Universal Championship. This is the this is the rematch from Westman Third One, where he, where we nearly got a winner because Seth Rollins casting his money in the bank briefcase. This match is to make Roman look strong. This is a case when where's when Lesnar leaves the WWE, he can establish himself being the top man of WWE. Because remember, Bobby is rumored. Well, we only left leaving Dodi or not, but he's rumored to leave the Dodi so he could go to USC. And Bob Lizard had been the longest when you Universal Champion. The same year when Okada was main event last year's Wrestle Kingdom against King Omega. Yep, the same year when Bob Lizard won the Universal Championship when Okada faced Omega. Still to this day, o Okada has still been the champion that following year. Now for Okada, while Okada have many of four straight Wrestle Kingdoms, it has the same story each year, proving why he's the ace of Japan. Now, one way maybe with some force with Smith 
each time when Wonder Woman Maven was met, it have a different story. When Wonder Woman face bothered to see which humor gets the tower first, before the Earth humor does. Which met day two, he was facing authority. Which meant that we faced the Undertaker by the yard. But therefore, well, I don't remember how many years it was, but four years in the making. We never got a win to see who will win between Lesnar and Bison Wayne. It was we will all want a clear winner. You see, he may have been involved big moments, not involving Wayne, like which was day one, with Seth Rollins casting his money band briefcase. Which meant day two, one win be a different man. man. Which meant day three, the Undertaker's farewell. Where the Undertaker was set to retire. Staying up, staying up, vision. Untap been in the bed for a long time. And I know we're there, therefore, we might have some great moments. Lean to WrestleMania. Team Women and Bart Lesnar. While Okada does have the same outcome where he gave his speed being dominant. The only moments I, that I remember when Okada was. Man Van was a kid was he faced Takahashi where he lost and he was crying because he wants to be the top guy of New Japan. He wants to be the ace of Japan. He wants to be dominant. He wants to have like probably the best match as he can. But for no, no huge moment that has stand out to me. Like the only I made is a calm crying when you lose Takahashi because you know he wants to be the top guy in New Japan. So that's why I could plan by Okada Maven for the U.S. Um, Wrestle Kingdom. Like I seen Okada Maven Wrestle Kingdom multiple times, but when one man Maven Wrestle, but don't no, for but I'm not a huge one way fan. But it's the way he, they build him up. Like one way tells a story. That that's how he grabs me. Like one way could tell a story, even though he's a more head guy right now. But he telling a story, like. Every time one way Maven was a mania, it tells a different story each year. While Okada just gives me the same story over and over and over again. Like in 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 New Japan, this book of Okada just making history. Like they have so many opportunities where they could have with Osprey or King America. But New Japan will not get in by a chance. At least Dodi gave him somebody. They didn't make Jim Mahal a Dodi champion. He was a job, but at least they give somebody else a chance. Like, for him, for other students to to achieve. And now, Carter kind of lay out all the competition left for him to face. I don't know who was next for Carter. Because he basically had the whole top competition. Okay, I'm kind of tired. I ain't did this for a while. So this is my video about one with Maven with some mania, different to a come Maven with some mania. And feel free to comment. Like this, this is my opinion, but up you have opinions about this whole system to one with Maven with some mania and Okada Maven with a kingdom. Well, I hope I get to make some more videos. Please subscribe to my channel. Well, leave a like button or more man this like because no matter he's a one way fan. Yeah, you all want to see Okada beat one more win because Dodi versus New Japan Pro Wrestling. So, so thanks. See you later.